underway in the first semi-final of the 2023 Netball World Cup. It's England in possession in the red. New Zealand in the black. Running sideline for us, former New Zealand captain Anna Stanley. They nearly picked that up there. Well, we're in for a real treat, I think, today, Jen. A great day of netball. I think this England Roses side, they have been the informed team. They show great composure against Australia. The Silver Ferns have been a little bit disjointed. They've had to show a lot of resilience and adapt early on with the losing Grace Wickey. But semi-finals netball, anything can happen. Great start for the Poms. And there's a great crowd atmosphere as well. Plenty of New Zealanders, plenty of English. And that's what's been so great about this Netball World Cup. Everyone has just come, really embraced the Netball, embraced the environment, and are just here to support Netball, but gunning for their teams. Oh, that's a great pressure already there from the England Roses. Stepping up quickly. They want to try and win ball early, as we heard just they'll be safe before the game. So not allow Maya Wilson to use those high percentage shots when she gets it onto the post. Grace Wickey in the crowd there, beaming, big smile on her face, huge blow for the 21-year-old. Nice direct pass, Imogen Allison has really made that centre position her own. She's been on attack but also in defence, those turnovers that she's been getting, really aiding England's score throw. Eleanor Cardwell's sister. Well, somebody's got to come forward for New Zealand. Yeah, it turned out to go back. Looking forward to seeing the injection of Crampton. Of course, we didn't see her at all against Jamaica. Soon has got the start at wing attack. So really need her to come into the game and lead down that attack end. There's a huge amount of experience. Nolene Tarua, you know, left a lot of her experience on the bench in that second half against South Africa. She started with experience today. They need to step up for her. Well, this is phenomenal defence from England. New Zealand pushed back again. Just see the patient play from New Zealand, though, just to try and break through that zonal setup that the Roses are doing. And you see the little bobble ball from Maya Wilson. Mentor getting into the head of Wilson. Oh, I was just about to say that's what experience can do, and she would have not wanted to give that ball away on one foot. Just seemed hesitant as they tried to break through from that defensive end. Well, that'll make Maya Wilson feel a little bit better. There's a mother there, front and centre. Oh, Kelly Jury. She nearly oh. had it. Karaka picked it up. So that's the strength of having Jury at the back. She loves to hunt that ball. So great start from her. Well, jeepers, we're only three and a half minutes in. There's been quite a bit of action already. It's like you say, a semi-final game. All else, you, you almost have to forget and start from scratch. And there's another pressure. Three-foot mark on the shot from Jeeva Mental. So straight away, the England defence just making the Silver Ferns think twice. That's a good start for Jury, putting her arm out to try and convince the umpire that it was out. <laughs> New Zealand throwing. You've got to chance it. You've got to try it. You <laughs> well, never know. That's right. Start his chance. <laughs> Josh Bowie having none of it. All right, we've just seen those those two big cross court balls from the England Roses that they're trying to attack. So just need to now change up a little bit. Jury has her eye in, so play some short sharp ball. There it is, straight over the top. That pull from Helen Housby to the top of the circle left Eleanor Cardwell all by herself. Great goal attack. So again, Bunny's hard to get that to first phase off the centre pass. Crampton having to work, work for it with Malcolm on it. Contact wing defence. Beside the attack. Laura Malcolm very au fait with the Kiwi style, having played with tactics the last season and domestically. Playing her 60th cap today, Laura defense. Malcolm at one defence. So Barney's three goal goals apiece. Barney's obstruction goal attack. 
Yeah, Imogen Allison, she, she's had some good numbers at this tournament, hasn't she? Intercepts, pickups. That's a call that will please Kelly Jury. Look at the work of Berger and Karaka bringing this ball through court for the Ferns. We've probably seen Berger spend more minutes at goal defence this tournament. Oh, she's played one of the most minutes in the Silver's Fern side over the competition so far. And another mistake for the Silver Ferns in that attacking third. And this is probably a good time to mention that the draws are not available in this part of the competition. There has to be a result, so there'll be, if it's needed, there'll be extra time. Seven minutes either way. You can see Joe Harton in the background there. She has not sat still for the whole games, giving so much support from the sideline. Oh, I saw on the street going out to do the shopping for the cereal for the team the other day. There she is, and Sophie Drake with Lewis, and Hallie Matt Adio, and Amy Carter, the three reserves. Again, just the attack end for the Ferns, a little bit slow. They need more options onto the ball. Ekanasio, I think, needs to get in the circle and help draw the defence. Gina Crampton just sort of trying to push her way through, and she did. Contact goalkeeper. Contact goal defence. The umpire's not liking that body-on-body -body defence that the Roses are putting on. Ignacio taking ever such good care with those shots for all. But it's contact wing defence. Eight minutes remaining in this first semi-final of 2023. Remember, it will be Jamaica versus Australia in the second semi-final. I love the way Cardwell moves. She comes out that circle with such conviction. Where you are. She does, Anna, and she does it just at the right time yeah. as well, when they need to break through on that third second. I love this. No one yeah. is going to get the ball. <laughs> it's all about efficiency when it comes down to the business end of the competition. You're not doing any more work no. than you need to do. So halfway mark, first quarter, 5-4, England. Narrowly in front. You see the England set up, just pushing everyone non-ball side, so you've just got a sea of red in front of the ball carrier. Yeah, not doing a very good job with utilising the space, the ferns, and as you say, the Roses really pushing them. Well, that was a big old whack from Mentor, but she gets called for it. And I presume the crowd is booing the call. Yeah, you just see her come from behind. Oh, and Berger, at wing defence, I think this is her strongest position. Yeah, first pick up for her. She'll really need to apply that for 60 minutes. She's athletic. And as you say, great timing. Well, I was in the crowd that day four years ago at the semi-final in Liverpool when New Zealand broke English hearts by two goals. And I'm sure a number of these players won't have forgotten that semi-final. And that was a thumbs up to Crampton. That's what Crampton needs to do. Look in, look over to Maya Wilson. She's got a great hold. They've got to have the courage to let the ball go, just like that. And this time, even though it came from behind Leila Gusko, she got up nice and high and tipped the ball rather than Maya Wilson's hands. offload of Ekinazio as we see that deep ball drive just going over the top of England's defence oh, oh look at that oh, oh. 
just a bit too much. That was a great idea. But you can just see the hesitancy, though, because there was a long ball on just earlier. But because Drury has been out there hunting and, and disrupting that spray space, England not confident to give it. So the Fultz Silver Ferns are certainly getting opportunities. The defence end, I think, have started really well. They've just got to make use of the ball that they get. Well, in terms of stats, New Zealand are better with ball in hand than the Roses. Just 83%, 83 times they've given the ball back to the opposition. England 105 times during general play. So, see the, the arm of Imogen Allison put out, pulled by the umpire. Oh, mentor, she goes after absolutely everything, doesn't she? Uh, Leila Guskov, for me, she was such a loss in that World Cup four years ago. For in them, ruled out with an Achilles injury. So let's hope she can have a good one here today. Ekanasio doing a great job getting that second phase ball off the centre pass for the Ferns. It's certainly working when they get that link. There, as you say, Leila Guskov. Fabulous defensive pressure, getting up nice and high. Tip and into the England Roses' hands. Look at that time in the elevation. Fabulous work there from the goal defence of England. Oh, Karaka went hunting well down court. Now she's back. Living on the edge of Johnson, but three One seconds just swings it round. And that's the strength of Housby. She can swing it from one side of the circle and get there for the next pass. For Kelly Jury, just being a menace in there at goal keep, getting good hand to ball. Now Housby will do something with it. Indeed, she just goes to the side. Now Rose is working it in. Only on, only on 71% the Roses. Fumi Fidoju, 8-6 into the final three Body minutes of this first quarter. Up. New Zealand, the lead for keeper. now. Beside the keeper. Destruction. Hustle and bustle under the post. Players just trying to get the perfect position just in case of a rebound or to protect your, your goal shooter. So 8-7, New Zealand with the narrowest of margins. Again, the Rose is doing a great job, really pushing the Silver Ferns to one side. Oh, that's a poor pass from Ekinasio, straight into the hands of Mental. Reward for some great English defence. And that's it, Jenny. It's the pressure that they put on early Contact from all of them in that unit, which then allows the back defenders to come over for those clean intercepts. Beside the centre. Goal <laughs> defence contact. Body. With the goal so Karaka this time called. You just see Drury, that pressure that she's putting on Eleanor Cardwell, and then her hand goes up. The space is so, so small. As you say, she really did pass it into Juba Mentor's hand. <laughs> it was more of a bad pass, wasn't it? Obstruction goal attack. So eight all into the final minute Body of the first quarter. Attack. Semi-final one, 2023 Netball World Cup. Barney's offside, wing defence. Better pressure from the Ferns. As we see, Cardwell coming out the top there. England back in front. 
Very low scoring quarter this first one is as both teams try and just suss each other out but it's because of that defensive pressure making it so difficult for the connections through attack. So the silver ferns just making sure of it. 14 seconds, they want to get this ball in. Well done for Mekinazio, just driving that baseline, but then using the footwork as she comes back onto court to get in front of her defender. Well, it's almost been a 